Alright. So... is VR fatness test with hollow points. That, that, the audio is too high. Yep. Alright. So this is a test to see how this works out. Make sure the walls are set up correctly. They are. Mm. Haven't done this in a while. Very, very out of shape. I'm probably gonna be huffing and puffing pretty quickly. First off, let me set up my watch. Track my big boy calories after all. Two. Yeah. Watch loads. 18, that's where we're at. Assume the sound was okay. And we're tracking. All right. I'm going to do this until I feel too much like going, which will because I'm very, very out of shape. And this burns a lot of calories, last I remember. So, all right. All right. So, the goal of the game is to shoot your targets. Your little bow, which is what I got here. I don't like that hand. Do I? No, I don't like that hand. This hand. All right. So, basically, you reach behind your back, take your arrow, shoot. We start at level five just because it's more. You'll see. It's slower to start, and I need a bit of a warm up before we go. So, I shoot the targets. Every time you hit a target, unless it's a perfect hit, it shoots back at you. And then later on, there are like little samurai dudes that come at you. So, you gotta, sh you gotta dodge the shots back. Sometimes you get lucky and two load inside them each other and they'll both destroy each other with the, the shot. You can shoot the bullets out of the air, but uh, I'm very out of practice, so I don't think I'm good enough to do that right now. Usually I get about as far as wave 15 before I um, can't handle it. There's a boss fight there and I just haven't quite figured it out yet. So, if you don't kill these things quickly enough, they turn orange and will then explode and shoot at you, whether you shoot at them or not. So if you're not ready for it, you can get pretty well screwed. There's a little bit of uh, locational-based audio, so you can kind of hear where they've spawned. You can hear the, like, buzzing noise of the holograms, but it's not fantastic. Could be better. Like the feedback on the bow, as you pull it tighter, the one holding the bow like vibrates a little bit more. To like simulate tension, it isn't bad, I kind of like it. That way you know if you're ready, because if you'll notice I'm pulling and pulling, and then I'm readying the next one before I shoot. That's how I know I'm pulled tightly enough without looking. So it starts to get a little more intense because you gotta dodge more. 
I want to say wave 10 is when the samurai goofballs show up. Uh, I'm not good at one of the weaknesses of me, other than being fat and lazy in VRs, and I'm not good with my personal space being invaded. And, uh, well, you'll see. They'll get right up on you. So, if you, like I said, if you hit them dead square in the middle, and uh, squares get it, uh, they won't shoot at you. But it's not... You also get more points for that. It's probably not worth really shooting for as much as possible. All right, so sometimes they spawn behind posts like that. And those are lucky because those ones will usually just hit the post. Oh, and you get two hits. You get hit once, you hear a shattering noise, you get hit right in the head, right here. Uh, and then the next hit, you're dead. Oh, shit. Shit. This is very much a room scale game. Which is why I've got, you know, I got the vibe for room scale. Because I think room scale is way cooler than sitting or standing. Which is alright. Ah, oh, fuck. Which is alright to do once in a while. With certain games. Um, so if you've got a rift, I'm pretty sure you need to buy an extra whatever the hell they call them, lighthouse or whatever. So you have three. I'm pretty sure room scale only works with three. Or more. Alright, so we should have the samurai boys here. There's gonna be a guy right behind me. Shit. See, when you do well, it feels great. I'm sure I look like an idiot. There's gotta be a guy like right behind me. Nope. Last one. Alright. It feels cool, but you probably look dumb. Especially when you run out of breath doing minimal anything because you're a big fat boy. Now, I was doing this a while ago, say like November or so, uh, like pre-holiday. Since then, kind of stopped obviously, uh, but I've lost 40 pounds. So while I may be a big boy, I'm not as big of a boy as I was, it's actually a little bit easier without carrying all that weight around. Jeez, fuck that one. That one's not going to do anything. Oh, damn. Son of a bitch. I knew he was there. I was going to get fancy. Shoot over my head. That was dumb. So these candles over here are basically how many hits you have. It's not super obvious. You'll see it'll go to two soon. There's level loads, see? That's basically your your lives. So the samurais just get close. And they hit you when they're close. These guys shoot at you, see? You can shoot the bullet out of the air, like I said. Wouldn't usually recommend it. It's gotta be really exact unless you're like real good. Where's it? Sometimes you just let them explode and dodge because you know they're coming, you know? God damn it. Come on. All right. I'm out of practice, which is why I'm out of breath more. I'm doing pretty well, actually, considering I haven't played this in a few months. And, uh, my cardio's a little run out here. So when you kill when you kill those squares, I think I got hit there. Did I? No. When you kill the squares, they shoot it at your head, because uh, realistically, that's all that's really being tracked in VR in its current state. All right, I might actually make it to the boss. Uh, I won't beat the boss. I don't know how. I think you shoot her in the head, but I haven't done it yet. We'll see though, because like I said, I'm out of shape and I just got hit already. Very early in the round. Shit. 
Not doing well. Getting a lot of misses that I shouldn't be getting. I do sideways. I'm a weird idiot. Ah, see? Ah, so it's pretty good. It's a pretty good workout going. Um, yeah. There's a few different spectator views. Let me see if I can pull them up real quick. All right, so here's the primary view. Um, I don't know how faded it is. Let's turn off the mic. So here's the primary view. This is what I see. I've also got uh, in here. Oh, it's got a score at the top. Oh, cool. uh, you've got this view, which is an overhead view of what's going on at all times. Here's me, obviously, in the middle. Uh, and then there's a yeah, nice little side view, like a like an AR kind of thing. So if I had like a, a really big green screen, like I have a green screen, it's not big enough, but if I had one like right here, I could probably put myself in the game and be like, whoa. Uh, so if you play around like this, I just want to see what it looks like. Uh, that's 10 minutes. Very out of shape, holy shit. So yeah, I just take a minute or two break in between just to be center, as they say. But this is like the primary, to me, this is like the primary cardio burner. Uh, there's another one I can do after this. I'll probably show you just to get a feel for how it goes in my VR fatness thing. Um, but we'll see. Play with this view. I want to see how it looks afterwards. <laughs> Probably not as good for, well, actually, I don't know, because it won't make you guys sick at home watching me, you know, dance around like an idiot. So let's give it a shot, see what it looks like. Stop laughing. My girlfriend's laughing in the other room because she would. She's supposed to be doing her homework. Come on. See, they're way slower this early on wave five. Like they take forever to actually go orange. Oh shit, I say as one does behind me. So yeah, I don't know what you guys are seeing. I'm seeing the 3D world, obviously. fun i'm sure i look like an idiot but that's the beauty of it you can't see <laughs> you can't see yourself being an idiot so you get to you know i don't know i don't think it can be understated how much it actually feels like you're inside the game like you know it mentally but your brain your lizard brain doesn't know it does not know what to do with a fake world and it thinks it's fucking real. So like, like I said, I'm not good with my space being invaded in these games. Uh, and that's why. Getting better. Played a lot of Doom, that helped. Doom VFR. I don't know if I got hit there. Did not, all right. Uh, and the next step of this whole thing, because I want to pick this up, I want to be doing something every other day get a little bit of cardio in especially during the middle of the fucking winter where we are right now figure out a way to get the twitch chat going oh there's a way to get like an overlay on my wrist i think i had it before but i never actually used it
So you gotta move pretty quickly. Come on. Did I shoot that one? No, I didn't. All right. There needs to be a better way to see your health in this game. Whiffing bad. do it sideways you can do it you're supposed to do it this way up and down I just don't feel like it's aiming I don't know I feel like the aiming is better side by side you know set up and down Fuck. I say after I go an entire round missing everything come on at least shitting it up this time. Behind. You gotta like constantly move. I need pants that are shorter or either stay up better. That's one of the takeaways here. Uh, I have the HTC uh, Deluxe Audio Strap on. Makes it a lot more comfortable. Uh, the default one, the default one's not great. Let's put it that way. It's like Velcro and elastic, and it feels like it's like wiggling on your head the whole time. It's way way better with the deluxe strap, and frankly, it should come with it at this point. The strap's been out for a while, uh, but it doesn't. It costs another like hundred bucks. But I mean, you know. The five itself is like what, 800 still? And the computer to run it is, you know, I built this one about two and a half years ago, or not even two and a half, year and a half, back when you could still get all the uh, video cards. And it was about 2,500 at the time, so I got shot right in the face on that one. I know how the ladies feel. Shoot that down? Is that like a pot? Oh, you can't. So your arms get a little tired playing this one, but some of the other games are like rhythm boxing games. And uh, I guess those are like some, <clears throat> some kind of like, I don't know. I don't want to say it, but some Taibo bullshit. And those... <sighs> make your arms hurt. So, all right, I did, uh, how long was that? Almost 20 minutes, okay. <sighs> Almost 20 minutes of uh, hollow point. It was a good test. All right, so let's see. Try a different game. All right, so I'm exiting Hollow Point. I'm going back to Steam Home. I don't think you guys can see it. I don't think I added this screen layer. Let me look. No, I didn't. You box me up. So this one's a lot more cardio. And punching. A lot of them are punching. They don't track your legs, you know? I kind of have to. So this has built-in music that I'm going to be using, uh, but you can you can use basically whatever you want. It has to be MP3s, I think. Yeah, I am not that fat anymore. Oh, lost almost ten pounds since the last time I played. Not two forty-eight. This is this is one of the big problems with VR is the selectors. Are never on like a fucking reasonable slider. It's always your hand. 
It's just too sensitive. Like, close enough. It's the right height. The weight's close enough. So done. So yeah, in here you can do uh, just a regular workout. Pick your built-in workouts. Uh, you can do, where is it, train. Use your own music for spec and environment. Say the gym, and then you pick MP3s uh, on your actual computer. That's all you can do in this one. It's not like, uh, so there's Audio Shield too, which is another one like this. You can use YouTube videos for that, but not this guy. I don't want to do any copyright bullshit, so we're not going to do that. So let's just do a punch combo workout. <coughs> Winter's new. Let's do winter. So there's this thing on my feet. That's the stance I'm supposed to take. These gloves are fucked. Like super fucked. I just club angle. So, these are way fucked. There we go. So I like to have it fairly centered on the end where it actually feels like my actual fist is there. It's got super screwed up. I think it was, must have been an update. Yeah. That's dead on, that's dead on. Okay, so this, these are your feet. It can swap. It'll be obviously this is left foot forward. It'll swap to right foot forward, and then you just do jabs, uppercuts, haymakers, I guess. And then there's things to to duck that come at you. Duck left, right, down. Quit playing. Start over. As I'm drooling over myself because I'm a disgusting human. Here we go. All right, so left stance, hands up. Still not quite right, but close enough. So this is left, <laughs> right, left hook, hook, right hook. This music's very loud. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Let me just go left, right, hook, hook, left, right, hook, hook, left. Right, uppercut, uppercut. Let's see. There's a lot of timing to it. I'm sure it's one of those things where you look like an idiot while doing it. I'm sure. But it's actually a pretty good workout. I wouldn't say it actually trains you uh, for boxing at all. It's an idea. Gotta be quicker and stuff like that. Stays up. Sleeves are always coming down. I don't know, it always feels like the hit zone is a little bit closer to me than it should be. Oopsie, wanted me to change up my stance there. See, it says right stance. Uh, in case you're wondering if you're always trying to mind the, uh, the cable, we are. This is a pretty good workout. Obviously, if you're in better shape, you more than one. I'm out of shape, so <laughs> I'm 
smart. See, like, feels like I should have hit those. Twenty seconds. <clears throat> there's other modes that was uh, mostly a boxing one starter punches one there's like a dodging one Whew. a bunch of shit like that so yeah 168 bpm according to my watch so that's pretty good i'm very very out of shape so yeah So yeah, that's, uh, we'll call that day one of uh, VR fatness, just testing for now. Let's see here, power, VR. 